Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and if there is any battle that has raged in the off-road world for a long time, it's Land Rover versus Jeep. And these two communities get very fired up, you see it a lot on the internet, and I've decided to put these two defenders, we have a long wheelbase and a short wheelbase against these two Jeeps. We have a TJ as well as an old Willys, but that has been that has been completely redone. And we're going to run them down the truck night map, see which one performs better. And with that being said, welcome to today's truck night battle. Now, the Jeeps that we're running today are, I would say, probably closer to the end of uh, the, when I say less built, I mean not necessarily like they're not built very well or they're not, you know, uh, built to a high standard, but more like they don't have gigantic tires and, you know, ridiculous long travel coilovers. And I feel like these two would be a pretty good match for these. Now, keep this in mind though. These are relatively new, whereas these are Pretty old, in fact, in, in modding standards. So, with that being said, we are going to jump in the Defender 90 right off the bat. The short wheelbase one. And we are going to run it down the map. And the reason why I'm running this thing first is because, I, to be frank, I've never driven this thing here. And I noticed in the comments that some people were, uh, that some people were saying, well, why don't you ever give the Land Rovers some love? And I was, to be brutally honest... I haven't really even had a Land Rover in this game in forever. So, I figured why not bring up the classic battle of Land Rover versus Jeep? Which, to which all the Jeep guys are going to say, well, it was never a battle, the the because the Jeep's always won. Well, cue the other side of the argument. Come on. Not bad so far. It's actually like... I love the pace that it has in high. It's not too fast, but it's also not, like, too slow. And it's got really good grip in the mud in high, which allows it to really kind of carry uh, carry a lot of speed up that hill, which is nice. All right, we're going to back it up to the F-150, hitch it up, and see what happens. Well, it's got a choice of, like, one of three rear bumper winch points. That's really, really cool. You can go, st oh, okay, so you can use the D-rings, or you can go, like, straight to the uh, to the hitch in the middle. That's nice. I dig that. All right, as we usually do, I want to see how it does if I just try to yank it through the mud and high. And so far, it's not too bad. I mean, it's able to, yep, it's able to maintain grip in, in high in the mud. That's really impressive. Not a lot of vehicles can do that. Not a lot of vehicles can do that. Sub-mega trucks. I mean, like... But if you're running a mega truck, you really, like, you're not, you shouldn't really have anything to worry about at that point if you're running a mega truck. I mean, a mega truck is a completely different kind of animal. Dude, I lifted it high all the way through the water and I never lifted. Let's see if it'll make it up this hill on the other side. I never lifted. Wow, that's really good. That is really, really, really good. And I have got to give it to that. Like, I've got to give it to this thing for that. That's really, really good genuinely approve of that. Oh, yep. Just short wheelbase things, I guess. Come on! Yeah, just short wheelbase things, guys. I mean, it really does just get it done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. That was my bad. That wasn't the vehicle's fault. That was my bad, and I'll fully own up to that and just own that one because... Like I said, that was my bad. All right, let's get you across the bridge. And then once we get you to the other side, you will be good to go. And that was actually, honestly, apart from the flop, which was my fault, not this thing's fault, it, it's a really solid run. I've got to get, I've got to admit, I've got to give it to this thing. Super solid run. Super solid. That was, again... My fault, but I just wanted to see what would happen if I literally chucked it at that log. Because some vehicles will just soak it up. Other vehicles are like, no, and it's boing. Come on. Easy. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. 
and across the line. And to be honest, besides the two rollovers that were legitimately my fault, this thing put on a really good show. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into this willies. And by the way, if I lift the hood, look at that. Like, that's a lot of piping. Let me get a little bit closer. It, just in case you guys are not familiar with this thing or haven't seen it before, we're dealing with a supercharger with twin turbos on top of it. That's just, like, ridiculous and, and insane on a level of its own. But we're going to go ahead and get this thing in gear, get it running down the track, and I actually want to do one of those little, one of those little, yeah, little, like, theatrical starts. All right, boys, ready for some yeet? Let's go! Yes! Oh, my God. I, I, I have way too much fun with that camera, and I think it's just one of those things where, I mean, will I... I don't know. It's like, will I get tired of using that camera? Who knows? I haven't gotten tired of it yet. So about half throttle and high is the way to go through here with this thing. Yeah, about half throttle and high is where it likes to be. But it's actually pretty okay because it maintains a decent pace and it's not too, like, it, it, it doesn't dig too much. It doesn't spin too much. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just feathering it, feathering it, feathering it. Not bad. It's maintaining about the same pace in high as the Land Rover. The only difference between this so far and the Land Rover is the fact that the, uh, the Land Rover I didn't have to lift in the mud. This I have to lift in order to kind of keep it from starting to like dig and sink. So small detail, but it's worth mentioning. All right, we're going to go ahead and hook up to that next red F-150 in line. All right, we'll get that thing hooked up, and let's go. I'm going to pull it just a little bit closer because I feel like that's a lot of slack in the winch line. All right, let's go. Oh, it is not having too happy of a time right now. It is not enjoying itself. I don't get the feeling that this thing is going to be able to pull that in high through this upcoming mud. I just don't get the feeling that it's going to be able to do it. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Well, maybe I'm wrong on that. Okay, I mean, it's... Hey, it's going. It may not be going as fast as the Land Rover, but it's going. Come on, Willies. No! All right. Into low we go. Come on. Whoa, wait. What? Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. No way. No way. What? Okay, there we go. I was like, there's no way you're going to be stopped by that. That, that would be the very first time in, like, I think just about forever that anything would have been completely stopped at that obstacle um, by, well, aside from, like, semis and ridiculous stuff. It's a little bit of a slow go for this thing, but, hey, she's pulling through. Ah, I was able to get it up into high. Yes! That'll be able to keep it there, though, through the, through the water. The water's gonna be sketchy. The water's gonna be very sketchy. Oh, the F-150 is not even in the water yet, and we're already starting to have... Yep. Already starting to have issues. Come on, Jeep. Let's go. You could do this. I believe in you, little Jeep. Come on. Oh, man. It is really, really not happy, dude. It is pretty dang far from happy right now. Uh, come on. Trying to use the edge of the water to try to like maybe maybe get a better maybe get a better chance of getting out of here, which we are. We are getting well, we're not out of the woods yet. Come on, Jeep. 
Easy. Come on. Come on, Jeep. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Dig in and go. Come on. It's got it. Oh, my God, though. That was, like, that was, like, actually quite nerve-wracking because I was genuinely not sure whether or not we were going to make it through there. Are you telling me you're not going to? Okay, I was like, are you telling me you're not going to make it up that, like, that hill? Bruh, come on, dude. I'm yanking this thing in high, and it is still, like, fighting with me. All right, finally. Finally, we are out of there. Maybe not, because we're running directly into a rock, but... Oh my god, are you serious? Are you absolutely serious right now? Bro, come on, let's go. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Yes, there it is. Not bad. All right, throw it into... Ooh, throw it in automatic. Let's go. Oh, it's probably going to hate these. I'm going to slow down as... Yeah, it would have just flipped. But... The cool thing is, the wheelbase is so short that it can kind of just shimmy its way over these logs without much trouble. Although, I didn't even realize there was a rock there. That was going to come back to bite me. Yep, easy. Even if you do it straight on, this thing does not complain. Alright, so we've got the short wheelbase Land Rover at the end, and now we have the wheelies at the end as well. So, with that being said, it's just the long wheelbase and the TJ to go. So, actually, which the long wheelbase is the Defender pickup, but I'm curious to see what the difference is in how the long wheelbase Defender performs. And I feel like it's going to be pretty similar. It just may have some areas where it will have um, some long wheelbase related challenges. Like, for example, the logs at the end. So, getting down through the mud here. It's doing really well. It's really, like, just digging in and going. Um, not really having any issues sinking, which we saw with the first one. The first one was not, uh, was not really, at, like... The first one didn't really have any issues through there either, so didn't expect this one was going to. I mean, you never know, but I really didn't expect this one to have that many issues, and it, it, it definitely didn't. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get through this little bit of mud, and then hook up to the F-150. Next F-150 in line. We go, and I was going to say center uh, trailer hitch. We'll get him through the water, and then I'm going to back up, throw this thing into high, and just go. I'm going to gun it. Fingers crossed that it works this, the, like, this time. Let's go! Not lifting. No lift. No lift. No lift. Oh, we're still going. It bogged down for like a second, but we're still going. Come on. Yes. Dude, that's not bad at all. How about in high through the water? If it can do that, then I will be genuinely impressed. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, that is so sick. Let's go. Come on. Not, oh God, not bad at all. All right, disconnected the F-150 because we do not need to pull it through here. All right, up and over. Whoa. Trying not to flip it. I've already like, I literally almost flipped it like two or three times there. So I really need to be, whoa, whoa. This thing is like constantly on the verge of turning over. I'm not even going to lie. Like. Dude, this thing is constantly on the verge of turning over, and it definitely makes that known. It's certainly a lot more top-heavy than the Willys. 
All right, flooring it across the bridge in automatic mode. Let's go. Not bad. Yeah, it, wow, it didn't even like, it didn't even jump. It literally just bounced off. At least the short wheel wheelbase one kind of like jumped a little bit. This one didn't even attempt to jump. It just bounced off. Ah, and there's the kicker. There's the kicker for this thing. Yeah, I knew the long wheelbase one was going to have problems here. And that, my friends, is when you have a really long wheelbase and not a tall enough tire on truck night. That is where you're going to get stuck. And last but not least, we've got Josh's TJ. And Josh's TJ is one of my favorite builds that I've used recently. This thing is so much fun to drive. It's a blast here. It's a blast everywhere else. I've Whoa! It's a blast everywhere else I've driven it. Whoa! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! All right. It's like, hello there. Good morning. I see you've had all of your coffee. Up and over. Whoa, it almost... Oh, my God. We almost, we almost turned it over. Really happy we didn't, though. All right, F-150, you ready, boy? Hooked up and let's go! Switch to pole so I don't have to see that thing constantly reminding me that I'm out of fuel. It's like, yes, I know, that's the point! All right, full on, let's go! Oh my god! She is killing it, dude! Ah, this thing is amazing! I loved this thing ever since the first time I used it, and that has not changed at all. Yep, I see the gap I'm aiming for. Come on, little Jeep, let's go! Oh, 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 yep, okay. There's only so much it could do in the water and high. I think it probably started spinning on the rocks, and when it does that, it's, it's done, and you can't really get it back into high at that point. And there is our F-150. All right, just the rocks course and the rocks course, the bridge, and the lumber obstacles left to go. And this thing just, it eats. Trust me. It may look like, a, like, it may not look like all that much. And when I say that, I don't mean anything bad about the Jeep, but like, it may not look all that intimidating. But you get it out here or you get it on a trail and it it's like, this thing will beat up on other vehicles, man. It really will. It's a killer little rig. All right, come on. Flooring it in automatic, come on. Oh, God. I had a little bit of a back and forth going on there, which is not good. Oh! Come on, start back up, start back up. Yes, start back up. Woo, come on. Oh, my God, yes. Come on, there you go. Wow, walked right through that. And across the line. So with that being said, two Jeeps finished and only one Land Rover finished. But if you have a personal favorite, I would love to know in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any thoughts or opinions, let me know that in the let me know those in the comment section down below as well. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all next time.